In this video, I'll show you how to create a tax exemption rule by user role in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I've created a tax rate of 20% for all countries, right, for this example. And I've also created a tax exemption rule, which says if the user role is admin, then we want to remove the tax from their order, okay? And since I'm logged in as admin, as you can see, there's no tax being applied to my particular order. Whereas if we check out, as a guest user right so as you can see the user role clearly is an admin so here we can see the tax is being applied as it should right we can take it a step further as well if we wanted so currently we're just automatically exempting the tax based on a user role we can add another layer to it okay so we can create the same rule and then we can add a tax exemption checkbox and then it's up to the user to basically tick that they're tax exempt and then our rule will check to see if the user role matches and if it matches then the tax will be removed okay and to achieve all this we'll be using the WeSuite tax exemption rules plugin so just head over to WeSuite.com go ahead and download this particular plugin I'll leave the link in the description below and with that said let's head over to our dashboard Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite tax exemption rules plugin, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and click activate. Once you've done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section, okay? Okay, and then from here, we can just scroll down and go ahead and enable the tax exemption rules plugin. So it's here and I've already got mine enabled, okay? So we can actually start to configure our rule. But before we dive into the configuration of this particular rule let's just quickly review my WooCommerce settings okay so we'll go WooCommerce and then settings I'll show you um, my tax rate for this demo so we'll just click on tax okay and then standard tax rate so I've selected to enter our prices on our store without the tax being included right so the tax will be an added calculation as I said I've just set 20% for all countries right okay so that's my basic tax rule um, I created some additional tax rates as well, but that's for a different uh, video. Um, so now let's go ahead and actually configure our rules. So we'll go WeSuite and then we'll click on the tax exemption rules plugin. Okay, so I've already got my rule created here. Let's remove this actually. So in your case, you'll just click add restriction. Okay, you can give it a name I and mean, it's just for internal purposes. So we'll say tax exempt. Okay, and then here we've got a few different conditions and we can actually stack these conditions on top of each other. For example, we can say we want to tax exempt customers with the user role, which is admin. We can add multiple, we can add multiple different user roles as well. Okay, but we can also say and so the user role has to be admin and then we can switch this to say and the country is and then we can select our country here. So we can say the UK, for example, right? Okay, so we can say tax exempt um, customers, which matches the admin user role and they're within this particular country. So as you can see, you can stack it um, however you want, or we can say, and we can say, and the tax rate is, and then we can select our tax rate here. Okay. So let's say, for example, if you didn't want to remove all the tax from the order, you just wanted to remove a particular tax rate, then this will allow you to do so. Okay. But I'm going to remove this rule and I'm going to keep it super simple. So we're just removing the tax for admin admin okay in your case this could be uh, for your wholesale customers right or some other user role so we can just hit save changes and if you wanted we can actually just leave it here okay so that's pretty much it so let's just quickly check our rule we've already got an item within our cart so we'll just view our cart page Okay, and as you can see, there's no tax being applied. And like I shown in a demo, if we check some other user role, so let's refresh this page, you can see the tax is still being applied as it should, okay? So just a quick bonus tip. Let's say, for example, if you wanted to tax exempt users by user role, right? But on the checkout page, maybe you wanted to show them a tax exempt um, checkbox that they need to tick. And then maybe you want them to actually um, enter in their tax certificate. Then you can do so. So we can just go tax options. Okay. And then we can tick this option here to enable our tax exempt checkbox. And then we can customize the title, right? So we can say something like, Okay, so we can say something like, I want to claim um, tax exemption. So you can customize the wording to match your requirement, right? And then for the custom message, so I'll show you where this will show in a second. So let's just hit save changes. Okay, but I should note that with this option enable, um, our tax exemption rule won't run automatically. So it'll only trigger when the user actually selects on the checkout that they're tax exempt. Okay, so let's 
proceed to our checkout okay and then here we've got this option here which says i want to claim tax exemption so this is the wording we used earlier right and as you can see the tax is still being applied even though i'm logged in as admin but when we select this option then it should remove the tax okay so the tax has been removed and now when we place order okay so here you can see this tax field here okay so if we head back to our settings this is this option so um here is where you'd want to probably embed your tax exemption form that they need to fill in right so for example you can say something like okay so in our custom message um holder there you can say something like you claim tax exemption please upload your tax exemption certificate here okay and then maybe you'll just link them over to a url which has a form field on there where they can actually upload their tax exemption certificate so it's totally up to you you've got the flexibility and that's how you tax exempt customers based on their user role in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.